Well, we've got some major local employers like Southwest Airlines and American Airlines who announced today that their COVID vaccine mandates do stand because they believe, like the legal experts we talked with, that the federal requirement overrules anything Governor Greg Abbott does. Governor Greg Abbott is vaccinated. Live on TV three days before Christmas to a round of applause, he got his shot. Now his executive order bans Texas businesses from requiring the same shot that flies in the face of a federal requirement now in the works. Really, Governor Abbott knows that federal rules supersede state rules, so why do you think he did this? Politics. This is White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki. I think it's pretty clear when you make a choice that's against all public health information and data out there uh, that you, it's not based on what is in the interest of the people you are governing. Uh, it's perhaps uh, in the interest of your own politics. She's a partisan Democrat, but when viewed through a nonpartisan legal lens. In, in months or years past, the governor wouldn't even do this because he did know that it's contrary to federal law. But of course, he's got a primary he's got to win next year, and he's got two folks to the right of him that uh, that uh, he needs to kind of elbow out. Abbott's executive order says no entity in Texas can mandate the COVID vaccine for anyone who objects, employees or customers, and his exemptions are broader than for other vaccines. I think it applies to anybody who uh, wishes to opt out. But legal experts say Abbott will not win this fight because according to the U.S. Constitution, federal orders trump state orders. In this instance, it's really the governor versus is the federal government and he's not going to win. Tuesday night, Abbott defended his order. Uh, I support vaccines. I've taken the vaccine. I know the vaccine is very effective uh, at preventing and defeating COVID. That said, uh, I believe in vaccine choice in the state of Texas where everyone has the right to make their own decision about whether or not to take the vaccine. Now, a ban on mandates has been added to the special session agenda, but even if it becomes actual state law, not just an executive order, lawyers say the federal order will still supersede it. Chris?